Hi fire signs, Aries, these Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what should your next move be. It is going to be a general reading, please just keep a mindful of that. If you're after personalized tarot readings myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video. Okay, so let's give the cards a shuffle and let's see what should your next move be here with regards to your current circumstances in your situation. Okay, some of you are feeling insecure within yourself or about a situation right now. You need to figure out what's, where is that insecurity coming from, okay? Because it's, it's coming from a place, um, and if you already know where it's coming from, uh, you know, that might be a very good start in helping you, you know, tackle some of these insecurities or some of this, you know, really insecure, not, not a very confident, not a very decisive kind of energy. So right now, I feel like a lot of you, your next move should be all about taking back your control, taking back your power over your emotions, over the, you know, the situation, uh, the role that you play in a specific situation or in a relationship, you know, it all, it all starts with you. So if, if you feel like, you know, you're slowly losing control of a situation or you're losing control of your emotions or you just feel like, you know, um, there's not a lot of certainty, clarity um, in your energy, not a lot of movement or progression, that's because you're a little off center. OK, and it happens. All you have to do is sort of try and regain your footing and find your balance. OK, and some of these insecurities you know, it, it's it's on you, okay? So um, there's a situation that is making you feel a little bit insecure, but those insecurities, they are stemming from a deep place within you. And also, you know, the other thing is, why are you allowing a specific situation or a specific person to fuel those insecurities? Why are you giving this person or this situation that much power to do that? Also, it's about, you know, the other thing is your energy feels very, it, it feels like it's lacking direction. Um, and your next move should be, you know, trying to sort of, yes, you know, find a balance, connect to your center, connect to your core, come into alignment with yourself. And in doing so, everything else is going to sort of work itself out. Okay, you'll start people connecting energies that are picking up on your alignment, on your vibrational alignment, your vibrational frequency are going to start lining themselves up with you. So will opportunities, so will possibilities, choices and options. Okay, so, you know, it, it's all about you. There's a situation also that is definitely, um, it's threatening your peace of mind, okay? Someone here is losing a lot of sleep over a situation or, you know, um, a relationship, a connection of some sort over a person. There's no contact or no communication. And for some of you, I don't know if it's a, it's not a good thing, but it it just might be a good thing. Okay. Because for some of you, you need to know that if, you know, if someone here isn't communicating with you, if they're not responding, if they're not, you know, texting back, just remember that no response is a response. Okay. And it's also a very powerful one. That's bad. I got a little bit too dark in here. Um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to go around convincing this person um, to, you know, to get them to talk to you or to see your value, to see your worth. The candle went out. Um, the thing is, the reason why they may not be doing that, they may not be seeing, you know, your value or your worth is because you're having a hard time seeing it. So, you know, if you can't convince yourself of this, how, you know, how do you expect for anyone else to be convinced by this? So your next move, definitely, um, you know, it, it should definitely be with... It should definitely be with you setting the intention, okay? Setting the intention. And if you do want to... You know, if there's someone here that you really want to communicate with or you really want to 
uh, there's something here that you really want to say because the Nine of Swords here, you're going around and around in circles with the situation here. Um, you've got the Nines twice and you've got the two, two, two of Swords and Two of Wands as well. Interesting. Those numbers might be of some uh, significance to some of you watching. Um, but some of you, you know, there's a situation, it's really, it's leaving you drained. It's emotionally exhausting. It's because you're, you're giving it so much of your energy, specifically your mental energy. And it feels like some of you, there needs to be contact, there needs to be communication. And it might just mean that, you know, if this person, if this person isn't responsive or if they're not communicating with you it or if they're not the ones initiating communication it might just mean that you have to take it upon yourself to do that and whatever it is you need to sort of vocalize this you know you need to communicate and the thing is your next move should be if it, you are contacting or communicating with someone here it should be with intention okay so what is it that you want them to know what's the purpose of you reaching out okay don't just you know say it to say it like say what you mean mean what you say communicate with intention because that's what's going to give you the answers that you need it's what's going to give you the clarity it's what's going to um, give you reassurance whether you know this is something that's worth pursuing or it's worth uh finalizing here and now so communicating with the intention should definitely be your next move um also making a decision of some sort you're you know you're sitting on the fence about some sort of decision that you have to make and the thing is you're not confident within yourself a lot of you the reason why you're struggling making this choice or making a decision is because some of you you don't know that you know there's a lot of happiness or there's a lot of potential attached to this decision or this choice and you're scared of that or you don't think you deserve it again you know it, it comes from you feeling insecure about or you're feeling some type of way about yourself or about the situation, you know, fix, untangle the knots on those issues first and everything else will just become that much more easier or it'll make that much more sense, okay? Because this decision that you're tossing up, it, it, you know, whether you do or whether you don't, whether you choose this or whether you choose that, it's going to have consequences. It's going to have a reaction. So you can't avoid that. But the decision needs to be one that is best in alignment with who you are and your intentions, okay, and your purpose and your part. There is someone here, for a lot of you, you've been wanting to go back to someone or you're wanting to go back to something. Um, you've left something behind, okay. It could be a dream that you've had as a child um, it could be you know you're trying to reconnect with someone from the past it's like or even if this is something that's entirely new why does it feel with the six of cups that it's an energy that you're going back to but it feels like home it feels familiar it feels strangely familiar in a sense that could be telling us okay that in itself could be telling us that this thing that you want or this thing you've always wanted you're pushing it away because even though it's destined for you, you're scared of it because you think you don't deserve it. And that's sad because there's so much potential there, whatever it is, whether it's, you know, a person, a situation, a job, an opportunity of some sort, a, a, you know, a living situation, whatever it is for you, you know what it is. It's something that you want, but you're scared of it. You are. You're scared of it. You're scared that it might not work out. You're also scared that it might work out. Um, whatever it is, it is home to you. It is destined for you, or, or it is a soulmate energy here that's waiting for you. So, you know, it feels like in what's destined for you can't miss can't miss you. So you need to, you know, I'm not saying hurry up and make a decision, but you will need to have to make a choice and make sure that choice is something that's in alignment with who you are and it's worth choosing. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.